is the progress on the Falcono swap. What's up, bro? What are you, what are you gonna do today? Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. <coughs> <laughs> you already the owner, bro? Yeah. Okay, cool. What do you have done to it? Uh, it's just fully bolt on. Um, has like Zeddy racing clutch. Um, that's it, still two valve, FBO. Not, no cams yet. Yeah, looks pretty, pretty, pretty good shape. Yeah. Especially the interior. Pretty cool. So this thing, I think um, it's running fucking rich as shit. So we're gonna go ahead and um, down log it, see what's going on. I'll make an adjustment in the tune to see if maybe that'll help. Yeah. But generally you don't wanna uh, adjust anything with the airflow model if it's already correct, mm -hmm. right? Because if that part is correct and you start messing with it, then load and everything else is gonna be off and we don't wanna do that. So we're gonna try and diagnose it first before moving forward. Alright. So we'll got the chickens here for the barbecue. Right there we have a show. This is, this is actually the first time I ever see see a show um, pretty up close. Due to the fact that I um, didn't think I didn't know they were high performance and there he has his new wheels. Luckily guys I have this USB cable so I'm going to be a uh, helping out Ortiz here. We're gonna save the day. We also have that 13 GT right there. But I know your issue. Here we have this twin turbo Coyote here. Looks pretty cool. Very cool. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. This is the progress on the Falcon swap. I won't get I won't get a copyright right. You won't copyright me? <laughs> oh, bastard. <laughs> so you're messed up, bro. So if you can see that car right there that's being worked on the TV. Actually this one right here. Um, there's a twin turbo car, it has quite a bit of good stuff on it. it, has the welds right there, as you can see right there, uh, pretty legit stuff, you know, so. Move the fuse and it'll be a front wheel drive, but the customer said, no, because most of the stuff is already adding up, um, a yeah. lot of the things that most SHO owners or show owners, they don't really know about is the PTU, yeah. which is basically the transfer case. Uh -huh. for, for cars because it's all-wheel drive yeah so ford says that they don't service them but that's bullshit yeah so a lot of these guys a lot of these owners that own the sho when they do remove the drain plug for the transfer case it comes out like rtv like silicone real yeah. thick sometimes it won't even come down so you have to manually flush it out wow. so it's it's some shit. so we're gonna service that we're gonna service the rear yeah. We're gonna uh, do the thermostat, the map sensor. We're gonna tune it, and um, all the fluids that he has. I can't remember what other fluids he's gonna do. I think it's gonna be oil and trans. Yeah. So everything is gonna be done, and then um, we'll be good. Decided to step on it. <laughs> yeah. Nah, he shouldn't. There's a school with it. I know. <laughs> but, There's a little speed limit thing. <laughs> but yeah, these cars they usually do mid 12s with just um, you know, our package, which is basically thermostat, map sensor. And soon they usually hit mid, mid 12s all day long, full weight and everything. It was one guy, cool, his name is Aaron. Yeah. For being full weight, they're, yeah, they, those cars can move, you know? If you're watching this video, Aaron, I don't know how to pronounce your name because it, it's E R O N or Eron or I have no clue. <laughs> I'm bilingual. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, anyways, he has meth, E30, full weights, and he hit 
1195 with down pipes, I think. Off road down pipes. It's pretty good. Yeah, it's fucking good. Or, so I mean, if, being a four door and, you know. If he makes that corn to a tin can, who knows how fast it'll go. Yeah. But it's it's pretty good, man. Yeah. So that's one of the things that we're going to try and do with this car is try and send it to and see what kind of power we can make. And, I mean, a lot of these guys, they take their cars to the dyno, and it's a good indicator on power. I mean, I have a fucking dyno, too. Yeah. I spent so much money on it, I'm in. But the problem is that <coughs> in order to actually show your results, you have to go to the track. Yeah, you definitely. Just, you take a look at your mile per hour. You take a look at how you're launching your 60 foot and everything. Another thing, too, is you look at your eighth mile, mile per hour, over a uh, quarter mile, mile per hour. Normally, you pick up around 20, 24 mile per hour between then. Yeah. And uh, you want that to be consistent. If you strip the car down quite a bit, you're on, you're gonna get to that mile per hour sooner, but it's it's going to not pick up as gradually. It's not gonna go like 24 mile an hour uh, difference between the eighth and the quarter. Oh, okay. It's more gonna be like 10 miles an hour, and that's just usually just an indicator that you're hitting your uh, power band a lot sooner or whatever. Yeah. It is maybe. Oh, well, that's pretty. Interesting. Yeah. I, I need to take mine to the track, dude. <laughs> yeah, dude. It's pretty awesome. I do. Yeah. I'll see if I come back, uh, I want to say maybe next week, dude, so I can install the pump. <laughs> I know you don't want to do it, but. I will do it. Yeah, for real, for real. Hey, what's up? Hey, uh, I need my rims back. <laughs> Alright, I'll see you guys. Alright, guys, so we just stopped. I just stopped real quick by uh, at Mark's, and you know, we took a. Chilled a little bit for a little bit. So 